morning, guys. And I think it's still morning. <laughs> right, Zane? Do you want to say hi? Do you want to turn your head? Um, okay, he ran away. Uh, so we're still working on brioche. I don't think this is going to take all month to do. Uh, as we are just to our second Wednesday. And I've got quite a bit of this hat done. Now, the recipient of this hat will be gone until at least Saturday. So I'm probably going to stop before too long just so I can try it on him. Um, but... I did cast on, what was it, 80 stitches, and the first part of it, which is just right here, is just a two by two rib, and you just do that, I'm pretty sure you just do that in your main color, I didn't see anything that suggested that you hold the yarn two strings, you know, for one loop, um, and if this is correct, brioche is not as hard as everyone makes it sound, so you get your one color to pop out but if you pull it you can see the other color is there so i think <laughs> that's how brioche works um so yeah i i was starting to freak out and i thought that i would not be able to do brioche so i was gonna uh do a lifeline but then i left my needle here to put in my lifeline uh so i just started to try it and it's it's not hard guys the thing is that you need to make sure that, like I said, if this is correct, <laughs> that you always have two stitches where you want it to carry for the next round. Oh, I should show you the other side. Um, oh, and this is uh, with a US 6 needle, which I forget, I think that's 4 millimeter, and a 12 inch cable. Uh, so see, our reverse side has our red ribbing and then the blue is the standout color so then when you stretch it you see more of the red um but yeah so that is our brioche and works so far i have no idea which row i'm on i think the pattern said because i was doing the size medium uh to go for oh what is it Um, seven and a half inches maybe. Now I had a pattern on Ravelry and I need to see if that's the right one. I had like the limelight pattern that I looked at. Although I thought there was also one that was like key lime or something. Maybe it was just limelight. And they did their brioche different. They carried it beneath I think. So I'm not exactly sure what that is, the difference is, but I'm just using the basic principles of that. So I will use their measurements or at least I'll base it off and then the main part was to get this start part right uh, the basic pattern and then the decreases will be uh, what I use the pattern for so like I said I think that was called the limelight brioche hat and I looked this up last night because I was trying to move some information over um, I did discover that Lovecraft does have project pages so that's where I was trying to look up the information so I could paste it on there except I don't think I could be wrong but from what I was researching they do not have they say they have community like which I assumed was forums but from what I could tell it was just like projects so I still need to do more research into that one but from right now what it looks like is Lovecrafts is mostly which is what I suspected is a mostly selling platform for their materials and then crafts you know you can post projects and stuff to go along with that so that they can push their project or their products more which is fine but you know and it's only knitting spinning and sewing at the moment but there didn't look to be any plans to uh, expand into like spinning and weaving and looming and that kind of thing so I'm probably not going to devote my time there because I think these other sites that have popped up want to include all those other crafts that are not just spinning and or just knitting and crochet uh, but anyway so I'm what I decided this was like four and a half maybe five inches so I have a couple more inches to go and then we'll do the decrease as it is in the pattern and it was a free pattern um, 
on that certain site. <laughs> uh, I'm not afraid of saying it because I still have my account there, but I don't know. I would rather promote other places, but since I started this before that, I mean, I didn't start before that, but I before I knew of other places, and since their marketplaces aren't going yet, um, I am not winning this, guys. <laughs> um, right now, that's still where I'm probably going to get the bulk of my sites because I can trust that they're, because this was a PDF, I can trust that their PDFs are um, not with spyware and stuff in them, which is one of the reasons that people don't care to pay attention to that I am afraid of using downloads from just random sites that you might find on Google. I want to go somewhere where I believe has a reputation for giving you clean PDFs without added spyware. <laughs> so yeah, that is where I am today. Okay guys, you're probably wondering why I didn't get the weekly whip up yet. And that's because you might notice that this is a lot smaller than it was before. And yes, I had to rip it back. So after I got all cocky <laughs> and saying that, um, that I didn't need a lifeline, I made some kind of error. I don't even know what happened. I ended up with an extra stitch, which I think was a extra yarn over in my color change. And I mean, my start is not at all, you know, I'm not trying to hide the ends. I was just trying to carry stuff up. And I think somehow I got an extra end going in there. And so when I tried to go back, I ended up dropping stitches. And since I didn't have my lifeline in, I didn't want to just take the needles back to that point, to the ribbing. So this is actually where I got to. I'm now, I was like two and a half inches done with the part of brioche and now I'm only like one inch of brioche. So it took me that many rows to figure out what I was doing. So what I did was I was trying to learn how to read the knitting while I was ripping back. And I found out that at one point I actually was ripping out the wrong color and that's why it was being a pain in the butt to rip back. So I probably ripped back several rows where it was my own fault for not paying attention to which color I was pulling back. So because I don't think I mentioned it before, how I am color controlling this is my red <laughs> sits next to me on my left um, outside of my bag and then my blue is actually down here inside my bag or wherever I'm at. I keep the blue in the bag and I keep the red out with me so that way I can keep color controlled. But anyways guys, so I just thought I'd update you. That's all I'll have for brioche this week. I am not to the point where I can drop back and fix the brioche yet, but I did learn a lot about at least tinking back and how to get it to sit back on the needles correctly so that if I do have to go back a row or so, it's not going to be the process it was this first time. So anyways guys, that is this week's weekly whip video and I hope you will join me for next week's vlog which will be hopefully decreasing our brioche. If you enjoyed these weekly vlogs, I would appreciate it if you could hook the like button and subscribe. Talk to you later guys.